Hi there, this is Maher Haddad. In this first lecture, I'm going to speak about the 40 gate. What is the 40 gate and what the features they have and what are the components of the 40 gate. So it's going to be like only a theoretical part. And then after that, I'm going to start building labs to show you how you can configure the 40 gate device. So let's go directly and start with the explanation. So the first question that may come to your mind when uh, working with FortiGate is what is FortiGate? So this is a device for FortiGate that I'm showing you here, which is FortiGate 60F. So it's an appliance device. And this device has a lot of features, which I'm going to explore them in this lecture. So it's a networking device in case you come from Cisco environments so or similar like Cisco devices or like Microtech devices or Juniper devices but they have a lot of features that you can benefit by using the FortiGate. So FortiGate is a next generation firewall, NGFW. So next generation firewall, which is different than the normal firewall, is that in the normal firewall, it used to be checking up to the layer, I think, four, and uh, then it is uh, making some stateful firewall, meaning it keep records about the uh, the connections that are open and check up to the layer for a while on the next generation firewall it goes from layer 5 to 7 as well that means that it can check the applications it has something we call it deep packet inspection means it will check every packet and knows what type of packet is that so if someone for, for example using some torrent files or something like that you can block them so it goes to the layer 7 and that's what the next generation firewalls are so 40k is a next generation firewall so what is the main function of the 40 gate securing your network so it's a firewall means it has to secure the network real-time defense so in the real time it can take a decision to make some security on your uh, devices and great user experience meaning that even though that we are doing a lot of security using the 40 gate but the users are still able to work and have very good experience in the networking resources that they are using now if we look about the components of the 40 gate we can see we have first the 40 guard subscription services what is that you will see later that every time when you have a 40 gate device you need to buy licenses to be able to open some features like for example for the antivirus for the ips for all those you need to buy the license to be able to open those features and this license needs to be renewed on a yearly basis so the 40 guard subscription service is responsible for these uh, subscriptions for uh, to be able to renew the licenses you have uh, security features such as the antivirus the web filter the ips so um, those are the security features that are available on the 40 gate we are going to check them and we're going to do labs for every one of them so the antivirus the web filter the intrusion prevention system and much more than that we are going to check that inside the labs in this course then we have the 40 os which is the operating system so if you come from cisco um, uh, for example um, environment then you know that you have the cisco ios which is the operating system for cisco microtech you have router os and every device has an operating system which allows us as a human being to interact with the device with the end device without this operating system we cannot give orders for the device what she should do so 48 they have the 40 os and also they have the security processing unit so the security processing unit is normally uh, responsible to be able to make the uh, security to happen and then we have the 40 gate and then we know that 40 gate can be integrated with other 40 net products such as 40 mail 40 client and 40 web now very important a lot of people get confused what is 40 net and what is 40 gate 40 net is the company which owns the devices of 40 gates so 40 net is the name of the company and 40 gate is the appliance like this one which i'll show you here 40 gate 60f is the appliance name okay now what you can do this 40 gate you can integrate it with some other 
the products that the Fortinet company provides, something like FortiMail to secure your image, to not be able to get spams, for example, Forti clients, Forti web, as well. Forti web is to be able to secure the websites where you, uh, the users are being visiting. So to disallow some websites where the Forti gates thinks that those are uh, scammy websites that no one should visit them. All right, so those are the components of 40 uh, gates. So now let's uh, look what uh, the hardware are. So for 40 gate, they have hardware from entry level going to the mid range level to the high end level. And also they have possibility to have virtualization using 40 gate VM, virtual machine. So 40 gate VM is similar as this device, but it runs on a virtual machine. So what you can do, you can get the FortiGate VM. I also you need to get license for that. And then you can run it on a virtual machine to be able to make a FortiGate, similar FortiGate device to do all what we have seen as the components like the antivirus, web filter, IPS, and so forth. Now, if we look about the hardware from the entry to the mid range going to the high end level, I have here a website about FortiGate that uh, I wish to show you that. So this is uh, the website from Fortinet Products Next Generation Firewall. You can see they put here, you have the high end there for the data center, you have the mid range for the campus and you have the entry branch. Normally in this course, I'm going to use one of the entry level branch because those are <laughs> very expensive to be honest. But if you look at, for example, for the high end, they put for you here the models that you can see, you can see how much they make protection for the threat. You can get the data sheet and the, if there are some videos, you can check the videos about those devices. If you want to get more information, you can just go inside this, uh, for example, device and then you can get much more information about it if you want that. And now this is uh, for the high end, the mid range for the campus. They show you what are the uh, possibility of uh, hardware that you can get for the mid range and for the entry. So this is for the entry level. So you can see they have different levels in order for you to decide, okay, I'm going to run a data center, then I will buy something from the data center models or the high-end models. I'm running a mid-range, uh, for example, a network, and then we can buy from the mid-range. I'm uh, running entry level, so I buy something from the entry level. And uh, if everything is shown over here. You can just download the data sheet and then you can read what this device can do for you. So these are the uh, appliances that uh, are available. But again, if you uh, wish to use a virtual machine, you can get the FortiGate virtual machine, and then you can run it on a virtual machine. And then you have a FortiGate virtual device that you can use it to be able to do the features that you want. But again, you need, again, license for this device. Now, let's speak about the features that the FortiGate can do. So as we know, it can do the firewalling. It can also provide you possibility to do VPNs. What is VPN? If you are, for example, a remote user traveling all the way uh, to different uh, countries, visiting many customers, and you want to connect to your um, uh, main office to be able to access some uh, files or folders or whatever, or to be able to just connect to your uh, network there, and maybe to send some reports to your boss. So all you need to do is just to make a VPN connection. And I'm going to show you in this course about a VPN connection, which is IPsec. So you can use VPN as well to connect to your main office. Other thing that the uh, uh, FortiGate can do is securing uh, um, your network by scanning uh, the uh, as for the antiviruses, the web filter and uh, so forth. So that's something very nice that you have a device which is able to capture for you all the viruses or the scammy um, uh, websites or, or, or so that this all can be done using the device of FortiGate. You can also monitor and have logging. So monitoring what is happening in your network and getting logging, meaning that you get some reports from the FortiGate chain that on this time, at uh, this date, something happens on your network. So you can get this log and you have much more things that I can't put everything here now, but just be uh, aware that there are more things that you can do with the FortiGate. 
Now, finally, because we were speaking about the FortiGate and we said that the FortiGate, uh, for example, can uh, block uh, using the firewalling as it is uh, a next generation firewall can block uh, websites, they can block torrents, they can block uh, audio, they can block videos and whatever. So we know that the internet, there are always new platforms coming, the, all the current platform, they're changing their ports, uh, changing uh, uh, the protocol they use and so forth. So how can 40 gate device maintain the database of all those changes or if there are some new things come, happening on the internet? So this happens using the FortiGate security services and uh, which is powered by FortiGuard Labs. So FortiGuard Labs, here I put it uh, on this paragraph, what they do, let's read it and then I'll explain it. So FortiGuard Labs is the cyber security threat intelligence and research division for of FortiNet. So it's a, um, a department where uh, they do the threat intelligence the cybersecurity threat intelligence and research divisions. So it's a leading provider of cybersecurity solution. FortiGuard Labs is responsible of identifying, analyzing, and mitigating evolving cyber threats to provide proactivity protection to Fortinet products, services, and customers. So what FortiGuard Labs is, it's just as I said, it's a department or a, let's call it an agency or a research division, whatever you want to call it, you can call it. It's a group of people, what they do, they always try to identify if there are some new threats happening, they analyze them, and then if they see that those are threats, then they will update the uh, database of the FortiGate uh, devices using the FortiGate security services. So that is what FortiGuard can do for us which is a very nice uh, thing that uh, FortiGate can do. So they just collect all those information about problems that uh, can happen or threats that have happened on the internet, or not only on the internet, on any network, because also FortiGate will see that it will uh, protect our uh, inside network as well. So they keep uh, evolving uh, the products of FortiNet, which is the company, by providing updates about the databases where they think that they may be having some uh, new updates and then they will add them and then the FortiGate will be able to protect us from those threats. So that is all what I wanted to explain in this uh, first lecture, just an introduction about uh, FortiGate, about what is the FortiGate and uh, uh, what uh, things can do for us. And of course, uh, we have gotten a global idea about the devices that are available on uh, uh, Fortinet company, the devices for FortiGate devices, and also we know now that there is possibility as well to use the FortiGate virtual machine if you want to run this on a virtual machine. So this is all what I wanted to explain in this uh, first lecture. In the upcoming lecture, we have to start connecting to the uh, FortiGate device. I have one device which I have it here in my office. I'm going to connect to it, and I'm going first to show you the dashboard, what you can see on the FortiGate. And then we are going to start working on every feature that is possible on the FortiGate. Of course, we cannot cover everything in one course, but as this course is for beginners, so then we have to take the entry level to show you what we can do on the FortiGate device. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you, and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.